can... too big for us anyway. It's okay. He's not going to text you back anymore once he's big enough. No, he was just here for the last two weeks. What? He was just here the last two weeks. I just We just did a bunch of stuff. I don't know. He was telling you about it. He just stopped texting back. He's too important for me now. Now that he's got uh, a following. Oh, well, he's not. He just sandbags all my stuff anyway. That's all he does. <clears throat> I'm used to it. Everybody gets big, and then they stop texting back, and they forget who I am. And... We have a huge announcement. Elite Goalie Method run by Jamie Phillips and Bujan Goaltending have partnered. We will be doing an Elite Goalie Method camp in March, March 6th to March 10th in Canada. That is not March break, but what we are going to do is we're going to do a pro style camp for any Americans or any Canadians that are playing junior or up that want to come in. It will be a morning session. This You guys will be treated like pros. We are gonna treat this as a pro style camp and it will be partnered with me and Jamie. 16 plus, you have to have played junior or higher. And then the junior elite group will be 12 plus you have to play single A or higher. Uh, we're going to announce that right now. It is now going to be official. But hopefully you guys enjoy this. I catch up with my good buddy Travis Ridgen as he goes in for surgery. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hit subscribe, give me a like, leave some comments in the comment section below. But hopefully everybody takes this week and gets a little bit better in their game. And we, hopefully we're all finding success. Uh, there's a, a crazy amount of like uh, like Reddit, like subreddit forums of like minor pro hockey, Facebook groups, Facebook forums. And they're just going off the charts with uh, speculation of rumors about uh, like what's wrong with me, uh, why am I leaving the team? And so here is basically the the full story of. In case you missed it, I was recently put on season-ending injury reserve for the Motor City Rockers. Uh, I was finally able to get in with a hip surgery specialist, with a surgeon to talk about getting hip surgery, because for the last two years, I have had so many injuries. Uh, knee and, and groin and hip issues that have been linked to the issues that I have in my hips. And for those that don't know, it, so cam hip impingement, it's basically a massive bone growth, a callus on the femur, which is the body's defense system against goaltending. Uh, very common in goaltenders, extremely common in big goaltenders. And obviously I'm a goaltender, I'm 6'5". I meet that criteria quite nicely, unfortunately. And it's the body's way to, to get me to stop doing the things that I do in net because it doesn't like it. Hello. Hello? Who's there? I'm talking. Hello? Who is this? You know what this is. Surgery's tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day, yeah. And it's in Winnipeg, right? Not in Vancouver. No, it's in Winnipeg, yeah. And then you're just going to Vancouver to do your rehab. Yeah, so surgery tomorrow. I'm going to be home here for eight days. Um, they said I could fly or travel after three. I said I'll give it a week just to kind of like settle down a bit. I'm taking the train so I can lay flat the whole time. No getting jammed to an airport because they weren't really willing to accommodate me. Um, I got the airports, so the train will work. And then my woman's going to pick me up. Doing physio twice a week for a month. Doing physio once a week and get a little more active for the month of February. And then March is kind of a handoff to like more training stuff. Light, light, like just skating, like skate skating, maybe May. Goalie skating in June and then like full on, hopefully for July. So did Pasco help you find a physio or is this like uh, paint by numbers physio that you found in the yellow pages actually i found the number on a bathroom stall but <laughs> no the uh the surgeon uh, that's doing the surgery tomorrow he actually recommended this place so i was like okay i'll go there um i actually believe it or not i have a new trainer uh in vancouver uh, he trains like martin jones he trains john gibson and uh he's taking a little bit of pity on me and give me a little bit of a deal and he's not charging me his ridiculous rates that's good fantastic I still well, can't afford him. But I feel like I feel awesome. like John Gibson's a guy who's had a lot of hip and hamstring and low back issues, so I feel like that's probably a good fit for you. Bingo. All the way around on that. That 180 degree turn is a long way to go. All three of you kind of rushed it, and you all had a hard time getting square on the top ones. Right? Make sure it's all the way. We get the eyes and the chest around, trying to get that chest to move in a straight line. So that when I get there, I'm square with the chest rather than trying to get set and square up at the same time. What we want to do is we want to get square before we get set. And it makes getting set a lot more efficient. Here, and we're continuing to turn that chest and then straight line. Okay. All right, so same thing. 180 degree rotation on a recovery. Doesn't happen very often or shouldn't but we're practicing extremes. 
Go. <laughs> Pivot, T push set. Butterfly, little shortcut into a long C cut. Change direction, cut, recover, 180 degree rotation into a feet. Good, so when we set this puck drill up, we want to set the pucks up into a diamond. You got a puck right there. We want to set this puck, pucks up into a diamond, diamond pattern. Cut, long push, cut, change direction, pivot, 180 degree rotation into a T-push. So this is a good down skating drill to warm up. We obviously progressed from a couple other diamond drills to this one. Really focus on that 180 degree rotation here. That was her best set there. Make sure, text Trav, he just had surgery and you're being big, you're big dogging him, so get your shit together. I'm not. I'm a physical therapy student and I also need to read in terms of what is the clinical practice guidelines for a surgery. I also drove 13 hours through a snowstorm and a drive that was supposed to take me seven. So, I'm so busy. you're a bad driver <laughs> and you're big dog and Trav. I drive a Nissan Altima, okay? Stop big dog and Trav. The guy is laid up with one leg and he cannot get to McDonald's to get his free water. <laughs> oh my god. Fine, I'll do that tonight. Okay, good. Yeah, make sure you don't don't tell him that I told you to contact him because he'll be pissed. I'm going to. I'm like, wow, you're such a. Big oh wow. Make it good boost to your dirty work. <laughs> okay, good. Everything, everything went okay. What? Everything went good though. They said like there was no complications. I don't know. I I they they wheeled me in. They sat me down. I told them that I wanted a Popeyes chicken sandwich after I was <laughs> done, and then they knocked me out. And then the next thing I remember. I was in the recovery room yelling, where's my sandwich?